Crispy, Crispy, no. Crispy. So hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this video because I am taking you guys under my wing into my creative process and how I get my pictures and photo shoots and everything like that. Um, this has really become a hobby for me over these last few months and I don't plan on stopping. I feel like I'm just getting started. Really quickly before this video starts, I just wanna be very clear, this video is not about Instagram. I think it's really easy for us to get swept up into Instagram and social media and trying to produce you know all of these things for other people and likes um this has really just become like a creative passion project for me almost like a portfolio um if you don't know i am pursuing modeling and tons of things in creative industries right now so it kind of only makes sense that i'm shooting so much and it's been really fun so if you want to know like tips and tricks or if you just are coming to watch my video great stick around because it's going to be really fun Yo. I have so the first thing we have to talk about is authenticity because I feel like it's really easy to get in this rut where you're just creating what everyone else around you is creating. Honestly, the key to my photos is authenticity. I am creating what I want to create now. I am no longer like Okay. Right. Um, I feel like a lot of times people are waiting on clout or like a certain thing to take a photo. Like don't do that. It honestly creates a lot of pressure. I used to be somebody who would like wait to take, oh like when I go to this thing, I'm gonna get an Instagram photo and like I really, like don't do that. Like that is so lame. Not to mention life isn't about Instagram. So when we make our life about we're gonna go to this thing and then we're hoping to get Instagram photos or Snapchat or that like it ruins the vibe of the moment. Um, that's kind of why I like creating my own photo shoots now because I can get the content I want without like having to turn the dinner into like an Instagram photo shoot. Like I can just go to dinner now and like have a good time because some of my best photos have been in my backyard. Something that's also really important to remember is if you're waiting to feel good about yourself to take photos, you might be waiting a long time. Um, that's a part of authenticity, doing it anyway because you're always a baddie. Even if you don't feel like one, you're always ready. Even if you don't feel like you are. So what helps me get out of my head and into the photo shoot, regardless of how I'm feeling, is the outfit. So let's go. All right, y'all, so now we're in the closet where all the magic happens. This is where I typically get inspiration for my shoots. Nine times out of 10, when I'm shooting a look, I'm putting an outfit together and just going and shooting it against some random wall downtown in an alley. But the outfit is everything for me. This is the most crucial part because my niche is fashion. So like, why am I taking pictures if it's not for fashion? For you, it might be the photography or you might find something in it that you like. Maybe you like to boost your self-esteem now. You know what I mean? But find the piece that brings you to life. This is where my creativity comes out, is the outfit. So everything for me is based on the look that I'm shooting. So in my last video, I talked a lot about this dress and how everybody at H&M was like, that dress is so ugly. And I pulled a whole look and a whole content. My dog is like freaking out. Are you okay? I made a whole content driven aesthetically pleasing shoot with this dress usually i say the louder the better i don't think that you can ever be too much i think that's a myth and i think that every woman should be striving to be so full of themselves that you're just oozing on top of everyone that can talk crap about you that's my goal in life i want to be so full of myself that you guys are squashed Don't overthink the outfit. It's just an expression of who you are. And that's so unbelievably important. For tomorrow's shoot, 
I don't really have anything planned. I was kind of waiting for this vlog so I could do it with you guys so you could see. All that I know that I wanna do is something with this silk scarf. I was originally thinking of doing like a, you know, like a head wrap or something. You get the point, like I wanna do something like that, but I'm actually shooting with another person tomorrow. Um, so we both decided we kinda wanna do like a picnic shoot with like props and things. So it's gonna be a little bit more extravagant than I normally do, um, which is why I wanted to take you guys along. The shoots don't have to be big and crazy and props and money, none of that. Like I said, 99% of my shoots are in my backyard, some random alleyway for less than 30 minutes. Like I don't take any longer than an hour to shoot the photo. It's easy, it's breezy, and it's beautiful. Like I said, all I know about tomorrow is that we're doing something with like a picnic, like a park moment, which full disclosure, I was really worried about this concept because if it's anything I'm not, that's cottage core. Like I'm not the bohemian princess. Like that's just not who I am. I'm not at the Hobby Lobby. So I have this vision of using this cream, like silk wrap to do some kind of like a head moment with like long straight hair with like a wave. That's the vision I got. Typically when you get a vision, you have to go with it. Don't second guess the vision. The vision is who you are. The vision is your content. The vision is everything. You have to follow the vision. I don't have jack bleep to wear with this scarf, but we're gonna figure it out. Maybe the scarf ends up being the top, who knows? So you just kind of have to let your imagination run wild. craft room slash second bedroom slash office space slash everything. I have a closet in here full of crazy fun things. I'm thinking for the picnic shoot to bring, hold on, this basket. For some reason, I just think that picnic shoots look better with wicker baskets. So I'm gonna take all this stuff out of here and get this ready for tomorrow. Um, again, if it's just you, don't over prepare. Like there's literally no reason to, you'll just stress yourself out and then you'll put a lot of pressure on yourself and your pictures will be like this. Now, because we're doing a picnic shoot, the blanket is essential. So I have a blanket here. It's very like bohemian, but it's also soft. And I like that it's textured. I think this is great. Um, if you're looking to start, you know, more content stuff like that, I always recommend a white blanket of some kind. You can do so much with a white blanket. You can tilt your tripod all the way down, lay on the white blanket and cut out the edges and that makes like any kind of cute aesthetic beachy laying down photo. So always need a white blanket. I love this one. And because we're gonna be on grass, I always like to bring an extra plushy blanket to go underneath the white blanket just so the white blanket looks a little bit more fluffed up and it's not like sinking and stuff in the pictures. I love this hyaluronic acid serum. down here all right Whew. all right my hair is done never thought it would be done um this is what takes me the longest is my hair always i think it looks so good though and my hair looks so healthy like look how much hair i have it's honestly like crazy all right bonnet is on bonnet is secure
Good morning. We have a lot of work to do. <laughs> My hair looks crazy. I just woke up. And I still don't have an outfit for the shoot today. So I have a lot of work to do. I may have to run out to the store and like figure something out because I was trying on my stuff last night and it just is not working. <sighs> uh, pro tip, you're always going to rethink the outfit. Don't overthink it. Always go with your original choice. Always. I'm kind of liking this. That's kind of cute. No. This kind of looks like Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> yeah. Just because the cap with the top, it's just looking very like I'm a pirate. Right. E yeah. Ugh. I hate this feeling. So to avoid this feeling, you're gonna go with the original outfit. I really, really wanna wear this. And sometimes, you have to just wear what you want to wear. All right, so I just left Target. Um, one of my friends is a barista at the Starbucks in there. So of course she gets me the biggest one, which is so nice of her. And I grabbed a little like breakfast sandwich and I also needed a brush, this like fan brush for my contour. So Target was kind of like the one-stop shop. Now I'm gonna go grab some lunch. I love these before photo shoots. All right, so it's time for makeup. I'm just gonna put a little headband on. I just prepped my skin. It looks really good and dewy, which is how I like it. And for this shoot, because it's more of like a picnic chic, I'm honestly not thinking of doing too much of an eye look. Usually I love a smoky, but probably not for today. I am thinking big lash and just like something really like dewy. This is old. It's like the mermaid palette, but they've, look, look at my nails. nails. Right. Um, I have to tell you guys something though. I finally pulled the trigger and booked my headshot appointment. I don't really think I've talked about this, but I have been fraternizing, fraternizing, fraternizing. With modeling agency since I was like 18. Which was last year. Babe, you're not that old. And they, it hasn't really gone anywhere. Like they usually tell me something along the lines of, because you're curvy, you'd be great for Miami Swim Week. And I'm like, that's great. There's nothing wrong with Swim Week. Like I just hate to be boxed in. So I'm getting my headshots done. And I called him a makeup artist. So it's kind of funny, while I'm getting ready for this photo shoot, I booked another photo shoot. Like a real time professional photographer. I'm so excited. I was so excited for that. I don't know, I wasn't expecting to do anything like that today, but I just had this weird feeling like I should just call and just get it done. Sometimes you have to stop overthinking it. Like just rip off the band-aid and go after your dreams. All right, the makeup is done. I did like a bigger lash than I normally do. This one is kind of sitting up too high, but I think it looks good. I just want my signature middle part down look, but I think I want to do something different with it because I am doing the, I did this last time though. I'm doing a halter top, so I kind of want to do something fun with the hair. I could do bubble braids. Those are usually pretty cute. Maybe I will just do down like crazy and I'll just do like, you know. All right, so this is what I ended up wearing. I kind of made everything work that I didn't think was going to. The headscarf looks really cute. And the best thing about accessories like this is you can take them off like for a few pictures too. So I'm just gonna go with this one on and I'll probably end up taking it off. Um, hair is super curly. Honestly, don't really love it, but I think it'll fall a little more. I'm wearing this top that you guys have seen before and just some American Eagle jeans. And I think it looks bomb. I think the big hoops and this kind of make the look. I don't know what I was expecting, but I'm so like happy. So I'm gonna rush out of the house now. Um, this is my tripod remote. It's very small, so I need to like put this somewhere. Always bring extra accessories. This is a necklace that I might wanna throw on. I think I'm gonna wear my forces. 
I don't even know about shoes. I never think about shoes. I'm one of those people who like, will do the whole outfit and shoes last. All right, I'm in the car and my car doesn't have air conditioning. So hopefully my makeup doesn't run off my face and my hair doesn't get crazy because I have to have the windows open. Like I literally die. So this is how we do it out here, girl. This is so self-made. So I didn't necessarily explain posing very well. Um, like posing is essential and posing honestly could be a whole video. So maybe I could make a whole video about how to pose for pictures. But for now, all I'm gonna say is before your photo shoot, practice in the mirror. Take five minutes and just do what you think feels good and like try to work your body. When you're shooting by yourself with your tripod or with a friend, it's really hard to know like what looks good. And a lot of times our friends don't wanna hurt our feelings or they don't know what they're doing either. So it can be very like, what do I do? So get out of your head and just keep moving your body. Um, that sounds so easy. And I think posing comes more naturally to me because I was a dancer. So I know how to press my shoulders back. I know how to sit up really, really, really straight and do the certain things that are gonna get the look. Um, but it really just takes practice. So if you've never really posed good or you don't think you pose good in your photos or you do the normal like hands on the hips, like awkward thing, then get in the mirror. Five minutes before you go, full hair, full makeup, full glam, full outfit, just practice. And you're gonna know in the mirror what looks good. Get the shirt, move the clothes around, like really just like work with what you've got. Um, and hopefully that helps. Like I said, we could, posing could be a conversation all night. Oh God. Okay, look, she's here. We're ready to shoot. And look, <gasps> stop. That's so good. And like, this is the setup. So we're gonna have the cake out. Oh my God. That is so good. Like you went all out. You guys, she literally bought like plates, like everything to make the shoot. <sighs> Queen. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I yeah. know, I'm obsessed. Right. We need like just pics of the cake too. We're getting like the best photos. The lighting here is so good. Underneath all these trees. So. It's coming in clutch, but I think we should cut the cake. Yes, we should. Like on video. Like I think it's time. Or just like with our forks. Or with the wine glass. Yeah, How people like do the cake. cupping. Yeah, so let me set up the camera. <laughs> okay guys, we finished our photo shoot and it is so good. I'm gonna put some pictures here. It was such a good photo shoot. It definitely refreshed my mind. I think sometimes I kind of get into creative ruts and now that I kind of know my aesthetic and what I like and how I like to dress, I can kind of get stuck in like the industrial realm because something about like a baddie aesthetic and like the parking garage just goes together so well, but it was so good to like do something sweet and girly, but also do it in my own way. Definitely got me out of the box and I just felt so much more creative afterwards. So it was awesome. Be sure to go follow my friend on Instagram. Her Instagram is gonna be right here. Um, and follow me, here's mine. <laughs> and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys can do all of that, right? That's enough for you, right? I hope that you guys really, really enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something from it. Get out of the box. Like, don't do what you think you should be doing. I think it all comes from confidence and just like, so much of my life right now. I could go on and on and on forever. That's all, I'll see you in the next one. Baby, so good.